will say something up front. I'm enjoying the playthrough. I know you guys are enjoying the playthrough because why? Every time I play GTA 5, attendance is high, engagement is high, and even the on-demand viewers, people who watch exclusively on the channel after the fact, also have really been enjoying this playthrough. The views are very good for the GTA 5 playthrough. In fact, in comparison to everything else that I've been doing for the last month and month and a half, I'm not kidding you. GTA 5 is beating Final Fantasy 16. GTA 5 is beating the Street Fighter videos. GTA 5 beat uh, Amnesia the Bunker. I mean, can, should I keep going? GTA 5 beat Diablo. GTA 5 actually beat Zelda. It beat everything. For some odd reason, me playing GTA 5 uh, really got people excited to watch my content in what was otherwise considered kind of a, a slower summer. Okay? Positivity incoming. Woo! That's right. That's an absolute great thing. And the thing is, the game's lengthy. It's a minimum 30 hours. But being that I told you guys this time around, because we're now an interactive stream, right? Back then, when I played it 10 years ago originally, there was no interactions. I didn't know what to do in the game. I just kind of flubbed it, and I missed a bunch of content. This time around, I want to do all the content in the game. We already recruited Packy for the very first heist, and we're actually now casing and setting up for that heist. We may actually do it on tonight's late stream. So this playthrough will be a little different because it has the stream interaction, has that help, and I'm not going to be missing content like I did in the first playthrough, okay? But there is one thing who's, that's missing right now in the playthrough. It's not views, it's not attendance, it's not engagement. It's support. Thank you, because that's what I need right now. I need positivity, and I need support. And it's good that I have a community of people who watch my stuff, who want to see this continue and be successful, who are kind of coming out of the woodwork now, and supporting. You know, it's funny because it, it's the, the, the constant factor that I've always seen on YouTube is the negative. No matter what, whether I'm doing well or I'm doing poorly, whether I'm on a high or a low, the negative is always a factor. You always get the people who talk shit, who make fun, who say you suck, but it's the positive that keeps you going, but the positive is not a constant. So, what do I mean by that? Well, people who are actually, like, supporting the streams. The streams have actually been some of the slowest streams for support that I've seen in months. Literally everything else I'm doing, the React streams, the Street Fighter streams, all getting more support than GTA 5. GTA 5 has been very slow. Why? I honestly can't answer that question. Yet again. Uh, Gorilla Pimp Chew says, what's up? I hate this boring ass game. I would rather eat bird shit live on a stream than play this here. Uh, and here's hoping you're having a beautiful day. Thank you very much for that support, Gorilla X Pimp. I appreciate that. Because as I've told you guys, historically, as a streamer, that I started being a full-time streamer back in 2017, my methodology and rule of thumb has been thus. If you play a game, and you're enjoying it, and the audience is enjoying it, and everyone's having a good time, the support will just come. You don't have to worry about it, you don't have to ask for it, you don't have to mention it, it just happens. And for the most part, I'd say 90% of the time, that has absolutely, positively been the case with all the games I've played since I became a full-time interactive live streamer. For some weird reason, GTA 5, that's not happening. We've had nights where not even close to hitting any kind of a goal, you know, one or two contributions the entire night, and it's like, what happened? We have over 400 people on the stream. The videos are doing sky high on YouTube, which is great. <clears throat> I say sky high. Obviously, for, I'm talking about my standards, not everyone else, you know, for most other people, a thousand views is pathetic, for me, a thousand views, I'm happy to get, okay, so, you see, it's not equivalent, it doesn't seem like it's of the right scale, and I gotta wonder why, so, I talked to you guys last week about this, and I got a few opinions, opinion number one was, well, a big portion of your audience that wants to see you play this game again, can't attend your late streams, because they're all in Europe, and as you guys know, if I told you guys this over the years, if you look at my demographics and my analytics, uh, a lot of my audience is international. Only about 40 to 45% of my audience is in the United States. More than half of my viewing audience is outside the U.S. Why not? Why not? Pig Latin. Snort A Bernelle. <laughs> and a lot of you guys are Europeans. And I hear you. You want to watch the GTA 5 streams. And you can't because they're too late at night. Fair enough. As I've told you guys, my plan is thus. Beat Final Fantasy 16, which we're near the end of now. And once it's completed, 
Then GTA 5 becomes a daytime stream that I balance with Street Fighter 6, and the night streams now can be opened up for more casualized content. So throwback retro playthroughs, Street Fighter 6 World Tour mode, and other kinds of content like that. Okay? That's my plan, just so you guys know. Alright? Anyway, so that could be one reason. Um, you know, I guess another reason could simply be, yeah, the playthrough is 10 years old. I get that. But with the amount of interest, it still doesn't make sense to me because I've played older games that got support. I mean, hell, earlier this year I played Elden Ring the second run. That was getting support, and that was a game I had played the year before. I've done multiple runs of older games, and they all get, they're all get all fine for some odd reason. These have been slow streams. So here's the deal. I'm hoping it'll turn around. I'm hoping tonight where I'm actually, just listen to this. I'm playing GTA 5 three days in a row. I give the people what they want. And people are saying to me, Phil, we want more GTA 5. Why the hell didn't you play it yet this week? All right, fair enough. You'll get what you want. Here's the schedule for the rest of the week. Tonight, GTA 5 on the late stream. Tomorrow, Final Fantasy 16 on the daytime stream. End game. As we're getting into the end, I, I predict maybe two more streams we're going to beat it. Tuesday night, GTA 5 anniversary run on the late stream. Wednesday, more Street Fighter 6 ranked, and on Wednesday, I'm going to try with Blanca to hit Master. We're going to see if it happens. I don't know if it will. It's been a rough ride, but hopefully I can hit Master level with Blanca this coming Wednesday. And then Wednesday night, more GTA 5 anniversary run. So that's three nights in a row that I'm doing GTA 5. I would hope with that amount of buy-in with you guys, I say, hey, I'm listening to your feedback. I'm seeing you guys say you want more. Please support the streams if you can. Days. So I really need the help. If you could tip me today, it helps me more. And I need that money for the games coming up as well as paying bills. So please, 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 if at all you can tip me, please do. Okay, guys? Because <clears throat> it's going to be concerning if I'm planning to make this a daytime stream. But it seems like it never gets support. I can't have half my major streams not get support. You know what I mean? So I hope it's maybe been a fluke. Maybe there's just, just been certain circumstances. I don't know. I hope that we'll start getting support starting tonight. All right? We'll see what happens. Okay? So, you know, and there's the thing. I'm honest with you guys when I talk about this shit. All right? I'm not going to sit here all night tonight playing GTA begging. I'm not going to do that. I'll mention it. Please support if you can. But I'm going to play the game and enjoy it. That's what I'm here for. Right? That's, that's what I'm here as a streamer. I'm here to a gamer first, business second. Okay? But it is concerning. It's something that I want to play. I've actually really enjoyed the first six hours of this run. You guys have too. I want to let you guys know what has to go on in my mind as a business person. You know, it's not just me having fun with the video games. As much as I love to say I can just do whatever the hell I want in life completely without any kind of pressure or conscious thought about anything business-wise, that's not reality. It's just not. I have to make sure that everything I'm doing also is going to pay the bills around here, okay? So, let's see what happens tonight. Hopefully... It's a great stream. Hopefully there's support. And uh, let's leave it at that. I had to pay my bills. I had to stay afloat. 